Hey folks, it's Rithgar here. How you doing? Welcome back to City Skylines. We've got 6,200 people now in our city. The population is now growing by two to 300 people per week, which means we are slowly, slowly getting back on track. Although we are 33 million monies in the hole, uh, which means that it could take quite a while to get fully back on track because in order to be able to rebuild any of the major important bits um yeah we, we kind of need more money policing seems to be out i've got no police anywhere so i've got rampant crime all over the place i don't seem to have any police stations anywhere they're they're all black they're all completely downed see that they're, they're all ruined every single police station has already been destroyed has been destroyed which, unfortunately, means that crime is going to stay rampant. Well, that's not. Uh, oh, no, this is emergency services. This is the one I want to be looking at. Police stations, right here. Yeah, crime is rampant. Crime is going to stay rampant. None of these appear to be active in any way, shape, or form. We're up to 7,000 people now. Oh, hang on a minute. No. No. No, nope, we, we don't have any. We've got none whatsoever. Every single police station has been flattened. Except over here. Or is that just because they're building up new? It might be because they're building up new. Because we've still got crime over here. So some of it is good and some of it is not. But it's th th they are building up. They're now building up. We're on 143,000 per month that we're losing. We don't have people dying in vast amounts. That's the important thing right here at the moment is we're now on 8,000 people. The population is increasing. We've got trains coming back into the city. Uh, okay. The massive, great, big leisure district that we had over here. That's not looking so good. That's definitely taken a bit of a nosedive down there. Nigel Pipe is beginning to dry out. Slowly but surely, it's beginning to dry out, which means that we'll have garbage services coming back. And then over here, we've got Smoodalini. And over this side, we've got, somewhere down here, Jeremy Hall. Both beginning to dry out, but there's no signs of any rebuilding being done there whatsoever. Miss Pelt. Miss Pelt is rebuilding, slowly. Not very much rebuilding going on there, but there is a little bit. We've got... Rebuilding here around the main circle. Although we had, after we had the flood, we had a major earthquake come through here, which has seriously impacted it. But the road still goes around this way. So they are still able to get through there. And it didn't interfere with any of the other services. So I've just got to repair that and then replace the roads later on. Uh, once I'm able to. That's, that's not something that we're going to be able to do at the moment. But look at the houses going back up. We've reached 8,000 people. Yeah, we're losing we're, we're losing people again now. 8,000 seems to be about the limit at the moment, and we're still losing 140 grand a week. That's a shame. I was hoping it was going to improve more than that. I don't... I Honestly, I don't think that we're going to be able to... Oh, no, there's 170 people there. Is poor side going to build back up? Tiny big man, tally round the good game of Petro, Gracemark and Blackwall 36. I'm hoping that you boys can pull this together and you can build back from the... Uh, you, you can really resurrect this city from the ashes. Look at it. Look at the absolute and total destruction of our city. It's completely gone. I do wonder if the, um, like the automatic bulldoze mod... Whether that one would be, if, if we had that one working, whether that would be better. I think it is kind of working in places. I think that they're starting to rebuild. And then the automatic bulldoze mod is starting to get rid of some of the bits. I think. I think that's how it's working. Because we're now, we've gone up to 9,000. So it's taking, I think what it's doing is it's taking its time to rebuild some of these skyscrapers. But they are going up, look. See, we've got skyscrapers being built. And we've got offices being built over here. We've got a major lack of jobs. Not a lack of jobs. We've got a, a lack of employees. But they're going up. 
They're being built. These are being built. Down to $140,000 on there. We've got more stuff being built over here. So all we're waiting on is more houses. Uh, we need this to stop. I've got disconnected power grids. Power grid is still a major issue. I've got no money. And I've got absolutely no way of getting any money either. This this is my major, major problem. Is that I've got no way of getting any cash. Running out of money. Yeah. I don't have a loan available for $35.5 million. Uh, million monies of any kind. Let's just have a quick look here at the pollution for a minute. We've got no pollution left here. We've got some pollution left in these bays, but I think that will start to clear itself out a little bit. We've got a little bit of pollution up through there, but that's slowly dissipating, as is the Nigel Pipe bit. This here is also slowly dissipating us. Coming down through here, we've got cleaners on that side, which are doing a great job of cleaning. And then we've also got a load of cleaners down here as well, so we're not getting polluted water going down here into our water supply. That's now on 0% pollution, which is just brilliant. That is absolutely awesome. We've got the sewage outlets up here. And that's drying as fast as it will run in there at the moment. So that's not changing either. So that's all looking pretty good. Close that one off there. Um, the other thing that I wanted to do is I wanted to come down over to these inlets down here. And I want to see if we could change them because that one there is heavily polluted. So I wanted to see if we could do something about it. We're almost at 10,000 people now. So I'm going to shut off that one. I'm going to shut off a couple of these, actually. I'm going to shut you off, and I'm going to shut you off there. And I'm going to turn on some of these polluted ones. Turn on... Actually, I'm going to turn on the three polluted... The three of the worst polluted ones. These here are all clean. So I'm turning these all off. And you off as well. And turn that one off. I'm hoping that this one here and that one will be able to self-clean. See, that one's already... That one's cleaned. That one's pretty much self-cleaned. So I'll turn that one on as well. And we've literally just got this one here. This is the only one now that's polluted. So we're going to get some sickness, I think, from this. I'm hoping that that one... Yeah, so we've already got sickness coming up. This is this is going to be a problem. I've just now suddenly poisoned my entire population again. Uh, maybe I should have thought twice. I don't know why this one's not flushing itself clean. The others are all flushing clean, but this one's not. So I think what we need to do is get rid of that one. Yes. Get rid of that one. And then I've removed the issue with pollution in the drinking water. There. Completely cleaned out now. Uh, so now I can turn these on. Some of these are not, like, perfectly clean at the moment, but they will be very soon. Turn you back on. And you. So I don't know why that one was staying polluted, but, yeah, it was. For whatever reason, see, groundwater, drinking water is down 1%. I've just lost 1,500 people from a new, break, an, a new outbreak of typhoid, which was probably not great, but still. Um... Cholera and typhoid. We're hoping that we can get past those things. There we go. We turn that one on as well. So some of these you can see is ever so slightly brown. But we're 1% on the drinking water population. Uh, pollu pollution, not population. And that is now working. Population is already recovering from that little tiny bit of a spike that we had. Still saying 1% on that. And... I'm going to come over here now, and I'm going to activate these four. There, turn those on. I'm hoping that 1% there, it's gone down to 0, oh, it's still on 1%. I'm hoping that that will eventually sort of clean itself out. We've got low happiness at the moment. But I'm gaining 500 people a week, and we are fast approaching 10,000 people. 9,800. It's, ho it's hovering. It's hovering around 9,800. It's coming back up. It is increasing. 9,800 still. I've got a... Look at the houses over here. 
James Collins, Meredith Wyatt, Scott, and Golden Eagle, and Rose Lou over here are all building rapidly. It's hovering 9,800 seems to be kind of the limit at the moment. It's hovering on 9,800. I've got more buildings going up here. But the high crime rate is not helping. And then we've got the big, the major death rate here as well. I don't think that's helping either. So it, it's, it's fluctuating quite wildly. So we're still losing 140,000 a week. These here, I can't do anything about that. So I've got power lines there. Which, although they, they don't matter. We've, we've got other joins on the power line. So, um, they're still working. We don't have traffic able to come in through here because these two are down. And I can't rebuild them because they've got to be searched over. And we can't rebuild the other because that's also got to be searched. Why are suddenly everybody dying again? They were all happy. Look, they're all supposed to be happy. It might just be because of the crime rate. Is that... Is, is I think maybe the crime rate is too high. Let's have a look. Uh, not happiness. Their crime. Crime rate is 64%. That's fairly poor. Yeah, see, I, I've got buildings that are busy being demolished and then rebuilding again. I don't know why they're being demolished and rebuilding again, but they are. So, yeah, see, now I've dropped all the way down to 7,000. Oh, that might be because of the, um, the the pollution that went into the water supply and has then come back up. And you can see here we've got some open spaces now where we've had people um, that they've rebuilt houses and then the houses have been demolished and then the automatic removal thing. It doesn't remove the ones that are done in disaster, but it does remove all the others. Where did I want to go here? Let's look at the pollution again. Average drinking water pollution is 0%. There is no sign of any pollution now anywhere on the drinking water. So that is a major benefit. We've got no sign of any pollution here. Nigel pipe is still drying out quite nicely. We've got a little bit of pollution that's trickling in down through here. But that's being taken out by these and these further down. I could remove those to lower our costs a bit, but I don't think we want to do that at the moment. We want to leave it exactly as it is. Uh, let's get rid of that. So we've got some industry building back up over here. Crime is a major problem. Trash is going to be a problem. But crime is, I think crime is actually going to be our biggest issue. Because we can't do anything about that. I cannot replace the um the police stations and until i can replace the police stations there's nothing i can do seven thousand people still hovering on seven thousand people like here it's just collapsed i can't do anything about it it's just saying collapsed it's not letting me do anything this is just it is quite amazing the way that this city is trying to rebuild itself slowly slowly from the ashes from the mud, from the stink, and it is working. It's slowly, slowly working. It's taking its time, but I mean, we we almost reached ten thousand people, and look here. We've actually got enough coming in now that it's it's spread right across the base there. We've actually gone all the way in here now. We go back to water. Uh, sewage production is 121,000 a week now, and we're consuming 120,000 litres of water. It's slowly filling up this basement. This basin. Basement? Basin. Um, 8,500 people. This is still building up. So we've, we've, the crime issues are still there, and we're not able to do anything about that because every single police station has been flattened. There is not one single police station that made it. Up this way... The only surviving part of the entire city was these um, incinerators up on the hill up here. And I didn't actually build any incinerators over this side, so they didn't have any. Scott the Aussie is just completely flattened. There is nothing happening over here with Scott the Aussie. We've got that one. It's got some oil, but there's nowhere for it to go. I've got nowhere to take it, so it, it, I think it can go direct to a train station. Whether it is going direct to a train station, I don't know. There is one train station it can go to, which is that one. 
And then we've got our farm over here. Now, with our farm, we've got flour here, so crops can come in. And it can be turned into flowers. And then over here, we've got crops being turned into animal products. Um, that one's got storage. So that's buying stuff in. Yeah, they've got Henry Ashworth is importing all of the crops. And then we're turning it into flour and animal products. Total profit is minus 2,000 on that. I'm just one. We will have a look at the industry. We've reached minus 40 million. We've gone up to 9,000 people. I I just don't see how we can end up turning this round. I don't think we can end up bringing in a profit. I just don't think it's possible. Unless I go through and I, like, demolish a whole load of industry stuff. I can't see it's going to happen. Look, see, so we've got... I mean, we're, we're making money here. We're making money here. How can I get... To, and then we got some some of that. i got some road tolls. They're bringing some stuff in. We need education. So my expenses on the trains here... I got 29,000 expenses on the trains. But where is that all? Where's, where's the money going out from with that? Like here. That one there is collapsed. Upkeep 700. And, is it, am I still being charged for one that's completely flattened? Is that what's happening here? Am I being charged for ones that are on, you know, squashed? I got railways going. I think I am. I think that's what. I think that's part of the issue is that I'm being charged for ones that have been completely crushed. And maybe I need to go through and remove all of the stations. I mean, if we have a look in here and I go to the budget, even though I've reduced this down, see water, garbage, and then healthcare and emergency services here. I don't want to change those. Now, unique buildings. We can't really do much about those apart from lower the funding. Over here, I got 29,000. I got 61,000 here. How many vehicles road maintenance and snow dump service have at their disposal? So we got road maintenance. Where do I get the road maintenance from? If I look here, uh, small vehicles. Large, yeah, see, that's, that's just income. Whereas here, I'm, I'm putting that onto there. Can I? Is there a way for me to remove? I don't think I can, like, remove that expense, though. And the same with the trains. I can't lower this below 50%. So 50% is lowest. The only thing I can do is start going round and removing train stations. Which I didn't really want to do. But I'm starting to think that maybe I've got to. I'm starting to think that in order to be able to combat this... So the monorail station could stay. What have we got here? It's a factory there. Upkeep. 880 a week. Surely it's not still costing us 880 a week in order to do this. If it's been if it's collapsed. Like that one there is operating normally. It's got a high crime rate. We've gone past 10,000. We went past 10,000 people. I don't think that's going to change though. I don't think it's going to do it. I wonder if I was to use the bulldozer. Let's see. Right, that's uh, residence. Sunnyside residence. This is all residence here. Just want to make sure that we don't have any non-residential... Oh, hang on, no. If you try to demolish a non-residential building, it changes the option, doesn't it? There. Oh, okay. No, it doesn't. We've got the, the Sphinx right there. So if I go through here and I actually remove all of these like this... Is it then going to allow me to start re... Is it going to start rebuilding them? If I physically go through and remove them like that, are they more likely to start rebuilding? Am I going to get some more houses being thrown up? Let's have a look. Talleyrand, you're a social experiment now. We'll do that. We'll go up through here and we'll remove all of these. I'm probably removing a load of stuff that I don't want removed. 
that should be rebuilt rather than uh, removed with the uh, demolition. But that's okay. We'll do that. We'll do it on just a couple of them there. And we'll see now whether or not that will rebuild. And I'll also, I'm going to go up here and see this area over here. This this is, this is hasn't really changed very much. So let's have a look down through here. There's a residence. These are all residences down here. Large playground there, right? It's got to be searched by a disaster team. So I'm going to leave that large re um, playground. Daffodil residence and then wood residence and then oh, that's another residence there. As is that. So then I will take this one. I'll leave that big one there. And I'll clear those. And those down through there like that. And then we will just wait and see if they rebuild themselves. They should do. They've got the correct zoning on it. We come out of there and Bouncy Castle Park. That can stay. And then the rest of these... Amnity. See, these are all residences. They're, they're already rebuilding as a residence. So, I think that's what I need to do. I need to go through now and start a bit of a, a longer process of removing all of these. Right? If I go down through here, like that, and I remove all of them, I don't think we've got anything of importance down through here, so I can quickly remove these. Like that. Just see what these two are, just in case these are there's a, a residence and a residence there. And that one. And then these are also residential buildings. Right, as they're all residential buildings there as well, I'm going to remove these like this. So that'll improve the area a little bit and they'll start building more residentials. There, like that. So, the residential zones are slowly being rebuilt. And it appears that the best way to do that is actually remove some of these fallen buildings. Because they're not doing it all themselves. I thought they would. I thought that they would go through and remove all of the fallen ones themselves. We've got a little bit of restructuring going on over here. But this side, they don't seem to be interested in rebuilding very much. Uh, we come back into here, to the middle of the city. I've got all of this... See, we've got patches here where they could rebuild, but they're not rebuilding strongly. And this is a bit that's concerning me. Ten to, i got almost 11,000 people, but I'm still at minus 130,000, which makes me think that I really do. Like that station there, multiple problems. I got upkeep of 480 a week on that one. I got another one of those, which is there. That one's collapsed. That's also 480 a week. So what about here? We had multiple train stations in here, and each and every one of them has collapsed. 720 a week. And then we go over to this side. We've got... i got a toll booth there that I stuck in the middle of an um, industrial area. And then we've got that train terminal there has collapsed. 720 a week. That's what I'm thinking, is I need to go through and I need to remove every single train station all the collapsed train stations will re okay we're gonna do it we'll do it we'll remove the collapsed train stations it's gonna leave gaps but i think we can work around that and we'll see if that improves the situation a little bit so we've got well see that oh no that was wasn't that already like that i got michael over there train station I'll remove that one so we've got so we've got that gap in the middle there's nothing that I can do with that I've got that one that one's collapsed have we got any more got that there's another train station there that one's collapsed that's it for those train stations I think demolish abandoned demolish burned If I click Demolish Abandoned, what's going to happen? Is it going to remove every single abandoned building on this map? Let's have a look. Let's see Let's see what happens. I'm going to sort of do it here so I can see we've got all of those there. Uh, there. Demolish Abandoned. Thunderstorm. Oh, no. 
We've got a thunder... Yeah, I... Remember I changed her voice? I lowered it down. Uh, options. Uh, audio right there. Emergency broadcast system. We'll put her on 10%. Right. Unfortunately, with one of these, it's going to go and fry the entire power supply, and there is nothing we can do about it. That's what it does. It fries the whole power supply across the entire city, and I now have no money, so I can't replace that power supply in any way, which means that we've had it. We've completely now had it. There is no option for repairing anything. <laughs> this... <laughs> this is insane. Now, what's happened down here? I've had another disaster down here. What was this? Disaster report. Recent thunderstorm. Building set on fire. Tree set on fire. The Coast Guard is warning of a tsunami approaching the area. I've got another one now. Avoid roads and water. Right. Uh, so now we've got no water. No way to rebuild the water at all, because I can't rebuild that. Um, I, I can't restore power across there. I've got... Power lines are dead over this side. Actually, the water might just be holding. But no, generally speaking, this city has now had it because of that one thunderstorm. And i got no power. Nobody's going to move back into the city without power. And this looks like it's the end. This actually looks like it is the end. The only way that we're going to be able to do this is if I can take out a large loan. So what I'm going to do is rather than just sort of sitting here staring at this for another 10 minutes or so, I'm going to cut this episode short. And I do apologize for this. But what I do intend to do is I'm going to come back to this and we're going to change it round so that we have... Um, Right, why are these buildings... Oh, they're all collapsed. I can I can demolish abandoned buildings, but I can't do anything about the collapsed buildings. All of these, they're all going to disappear now. People are going to run away. Uh, the only way that we can restore this city is if we've got money. Right? That is the only thing that we can do. So what I need to do is I need to take out a loan. If I can take out a big loan, a loan big enough to cover the losses that we've incurred so far... I can restore some of the police stations. I can restore the disaster response the unit down here. And, and I can also restore the, the toll roads leaves. over here. That's what we need to be able to do. We need to be able to restore all the toll roads and the disaster response units so they can go through and do their bit and clean up. And also I can rebuild the police stations to remove the crime, rebuild the fire stations. If I can rebuild the infrastructure, the people will rebuild the houses. And then we should be able to get back on track. To be able to do that, I've got to stop this, right? I am 50, 40, I'm almost 50 million monies in the hole. I'm 50 million down, right? I've got to restore the power supply as number one priority. Now that we've had this massive electrical storm, We've got no power anywhere in the city. It's completely out. That was kind of... That was the nail in the coffin. We had a slight chance beforehand. We don't now. Not with this. Not with that thunderstorm having come through and, and destroyed it. That's, that's, um, that's finished it for us. We have got no way of restoring the city now. See, we've gone from 10,000 down to 1,000 in a very short space of time. Because they can't live here without power. There's no power and no water. They can't do that. So I will do that. I'm going to I'm going to try to find some kind of money mod. And I will put that into the game ready for our next episode. I apologize for doing a shorter episode than normal. Um, overall, I feel that we're doing quite well. I am really enjoying this. And I do want to try and see if we can get this back on track. If we can bring this back, it's going to be absolutely fantastic. How we're going to pay off a $50 million loan, I don't really know. Um, 50 million monies is an awful lot of monies to try to repay to anybody. So, that's, it's going to be interesting trying to do that. We'll see, we'll see if it's technically possible or not. I've, I've no idea, but, um, I'm hoping that it is. 
So anyway, if you've enjoyed this episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.